Yeah, this, this was a, a dangerous fire uh, from, from the moment we got here. The danger is still not over for firefighters in Monticello, even though the fire is almost out. Good evening, I'm Jeff Smith. And I'm Nicole Kahn. Good to have you with us tonight. A burnt building in Monticello is still not safe for firefighters to go into. Firefighters at the Halls Mall warehouse are now concerned about a new danger tonight. Ava Wilhite spoke with them. Ava, what did they tell you? Monticello firefighters say their number one issue right now is making sure no one gets injured. The Halls Mall building is on the verge of complete collapse, which could lead to another safety issue, and not just for the fire crews, but for the whole city. Construction equipment is doing all of the heavy lifting for firefighters working on cleanup at Halls Mall in Monticello. The building is almost burnt down to the ground. We have a, a couple concerns. Obviously, if the building would collapse on, uh, on our, our firefighters, you know, we don't want that to happen. But another concern is on, on the uh, uh, west wall of the facility. Uh, there's a cement bearing wall that's collapsed inward, and part of the, the earthen bank is starting to wash out. We have concrete that's actually suspended uh, over air. Monticello Fire Captain Robert Hickman says without a solid foundation, the whole back wall could give way, causing damage to a 16-inch water main. Any damage to the water main could cause contamination for the city's water. Water Superintendent Ron Poole says in excess of 4 million gallons of water have been pumped from the municipal water system to fight the fire. The first night of the fire, they pumped so much water that we had to basically, once they had this contained, we had to tell them, hey, back off on the water usage so we don't run the town out of water. You know, the city, you know, that this is a health and safety issue, and it's very important that we do not run the rest of the citizens out of water. And the state's fire marshal office is currently on site conducting its investigation. Captain Hickman says they are still in the early stages of finding out what caused the fire, but it's certain where the fire started. The northern end of the building, uh, uh, approximately in the center, we were able to determine that by... Uh, the rumble and roar that a fire fire gives off, and as we were we were able to locate the, the main body of the fire, we were starting to put water on it, and that's when the, the fire broke through the roof, and then the roof collapsed, and then then the wall collapsed outward, uh, just barely missing the crew. Captain Hickman estimates the fire trucks will be removed from the site by today. The Monticello Fire Department will continue to check on the hotspots in the days to come. Eva Wilhite, News Channel 18.